Greetings Summoner, are you tired of being bronze or maybe stuck in silver? Then start with more legends. Champion guides, rune sets, item builds, reviews of high elo matches, analysis of jungle and solo lane matchups, patch notes, current meta insights and general guides on how to improve your game knowledge and take it to a higher level. And that's not all. More Legends is developing rapidly and will soon launch an automatic analysis of your in-game mistakes, weekly tournaments and more than 200 quests created to make you a better player. Check it out and start playing and thinking like a diamond. The first thing is to improve your axe control. Open League of Legends EXE, write your username and password in the comments to log in, press play, practice tool, insta lock Draven, and then you will need to play some targets. And start hitting them while you catch your axes. If you don't know how the axes work, this is a perfect way to learn. Just practice until you get a trick. Start with one axe and keep going until you get two or more axes without dropping them. Do not use this bitch. Make sure to move in different ways, for example, cutting clockwise, counterclockwise and stay on the same spot moving from left to right, up and down or in a straight line. You will need to do this for different combinations of level and attack speed items. For example, level 1 without items, level 6 with attack speed boots, level 11 with boots and a zeal item, and level 18 with a full build. Be aware that you can get more than 3 axes using W, and depending on the attack speed that you have. Increase the number of axes as much as you can without dropping them. Make sure to practice for early, mid, and late game. If you practice only for late game, you will be canceling out attacks during early game because you're gonna get used to a high attack speed. If you practice only for early game, you won't use all of your attack speed during late game. Do this for about 3 to 7 minutes before getting into a game, it's going to help you to improve and warm up for your games. The axis will drop in the direction that Draven is facing. You can send the axis to any direction you want by clicking in the direction right after you throw your air attack. If you're wondering how I kite, I have a video in the description but here is a quick summary. This is my mouse and I often use this button to air attack. You can do this by adding a keybind in the setting called player out attack move click. And now if you go to settings and then game, there I have attack move on cursor enabled. This will auto attack the closest target to my mouse whenever I use attack move click. If you disable this option, you will attack the closest target to your champion. If your mouse doesn't have any extra buttons, you can use the setting attack move on left click. It's all the way down in the hotkeys menu. Now if you press left click, it will have the same effect. But you, you're gonna have to use shift to interact with the map and other menus. You also want to practice the use of your W. Place a dummy, use Q, out attack him and then use W before you catch your axe. This will refresh your W and let you use it again right after the movement speed goes away. You can use this to start a trade on low levels to catch an enemy or to run away. And here are some ways you can do it. And remember that using W gives you a ghost effect that allows you to walk through units. Draven doesn't have a lot of combos, but it is good to practice a combination of moves that can do a lot of damage in a small amount of time. You will need to practice stuff such as W, Out Attack, E, Out Attack, or W, Out Attack, OT, Out Attack, E, Out Attack. Or just simply W flash out attack ult out attack. The reason why these are important is because it helps you to make fast decisions and moves while you're fighting. For your ultimate, this is what you want to practice. The mechanic behind this is to recast ulti before he hits the enemy. Place a dummy far away from you, throw ulti and recast it before it gets too close. Practice until you can manage to do it without missing. You can even use the minimap to do it if you want. Be aware that this works better or it's easier when there is someone doing a recall or hearing a turret. If you want to know how the ulti flash works, I have a video in the description, but I will show you the basics here. If you want to hit target A and B at the same time while you're flashing, you will have to use R while you have your cursor in target A and flash to any direction. After you flash, your ulti will change its path to get to target A. And when it touches target A, it will take the original path making a turn and hitting target B as well. 
You can also use Flash once the ult is coming back to make a hard turn. No following these days. If you want more info, the other video is in the description.